What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another What's Coming Thursday preview. So what is going to be coming Thursday? I feel like this video lads, we have, if you've missed my live stream, right, we've covered a lot of stuff that's going on within the community in our last two live streams and in our videos. We'll try and link them in the description below, but I feel like that this Thursday, there seems to be a lot of kind of yeah, there's probably a lot of confusion. Now, I want to talk about one thing before we go on with that, right? And it is the fact that they have this new update. Before we get into the players and stuff, because I know a lot of you guys are really interested in what cards are going to be coming, and there's going to be a big refresh, right? But just on this here, I did a video yesterday just to clarify, okay? Where I thought that this announcement was just the first announcement. As you see here, we will be releasing, this is on the official Konami website, we will be releasing V3.5.1 for eFootball 2024, on the 9th to the 5th, 2024. So obviously that's tomorrow. At the time of recording, it is Wednesday here today. So we are going to be getting that. That announcement was up on the 7th, which was yesterday. Today is the 8th. And then the update is going to be coming tonight after maintenance, which is going to be the 9th. But it says here Android, okay? Now there's no actual information within game. I thought that they would update the game today, but they haven't. The last update here is from the 2nd to the 5th. Now, there could be a few reasons for this. We do obviously get update files here. The last update we got was on the 18th to the 4th. And they usually do an update every month, whether it's just a fix or a couple of bits and pieces like that, where they update stuff, a new update v3.5, and they talk about different things that they fix and that they tweak. And then there's obviously a couple of hot fixes to the gameplay, okay? But we don't have that in here because it's only for Android, which looks to be here. So that's just something to keep an eye on there. I don't know if V3.5.1 is going to drop tomorrow. We will be streaming in the morning. We'll do what we do on a Thursday. We're going to have a fairly long stream tomorrow because I'm actually off work for the day um, to do some other stuff in the morning, but then we'll be streaming for the day. But in, all, in regards to everything else, for anybody that missed my other video, there is going to be a brand new refresh, and I definitely think it's needed. The gameplay at the moment... I'm really struggling with it. Like yesterday, even this week has just been so up and down. We went on a 15 win match uh, win ratio. We literally played 16 matches here. And I think we won 15 and lost one in 16 games. And today on our live stream, you know, like just losing games, man, that we shouldn't be losing. And just so, so like bloody aggressive. Like the AI is so aggressive. And the people that choose to play this way are just, it's just so impossible to break down people that literally just let the AI defend for him. And it needs to change. But we are going to be getting a brand new phase for eFootball League. So that phase is going to be up. On top of that, we're also going to have the match pass that's going to be refreshed. That's going to be up on the 9th as well. So if you are looking to clear that match pass, you only have a couple of hours left to do it. And then on top of that as well, we are going to be getting all the events in that rinse and repeat as we normally get. But obviously, we'll, we're going to be getting the new contract stuff as well, right? So the new contract stuff every week, they've started to double drop the epics now. So we will be getting a new epic here. The AC Milan pack is going to be gone. So, so Shevchenko, Hollett and Serginio your last chance to get them. Also, this player of the week selection, we're going to have a new replacement for that. And we will also have brand new nominating contracts as well. Also, on top of that, we'll have new players in the shop as well as, uh, you know, maybe a new pack or two. I don't know, but we will be getting a new player in the shop. Now, also, our good friend Arrow over on Twitter has said that this it looks to be the pack that's going to be coming. Now, obviously, we know that Konami tweet out every week. They tweet out, they tweet out what pack is going to be coming, you know? So if they do tweet out that, usually it doesn't take long for people to actually understand, okay, well, right, they're going to be adding this or they're going to be adding that. Um, so, for example... When they add a file, it's usually like this. This is the one that they actually add. Konami, this is from the official Konami Twitter account. And then, obviously, it doesn't take long for people to put it together. So it looks like Haaland's going to be getting a booster. Um, and it looks like these are the players that are going to be getting the booster here, including Suarez, who looks to be coming, uh, which is an interesting one as well. So Haaland, Thiago Silva, and Luis Suarez. Silva, obviously, is going to be leaving Chelsea, as far as we know. Obviously, the badges and the crest, these are user-edited. Ed these are created by Arrow. What other players will come? Let's see. I mean, let's see what other players are going to be coming. There is a couple, obviously, but Haaland did score four, uh, I think, in his last game. There is a couple of other players that could come, but let me know what you guys think, man. I think we're in a, we're at a, at a kind of a position now where I do feel as if, yeah, I just feel like that the content refresh, I hope we get something different before eFootball 2025, because it's going to be a long summer with the Euros and with that hype there. Let me know what you guys think. And also... 
we covered pretty much every single thing going on currently in our last two streams where we showed gameplay clips we even went back and watched some pez 2015 and 16 and different things so if you haven't watched that stream please do and uh, we will see you guys in tomorrow's stream on thursday and i'll talk to you then don't forget to subscribe peace